I think they missed their window. I think their shot to win the championship was last year. Explain yourself. I think they're getting surpassed in their own division. I think Green Bay is now better than them. I think Green Bay was 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 a coming, and I think Detroit had it. Like like look at all the t- throughout history. Look how many teams lose games in the playoffs, deep in the playoffs, and we think, oh, man, well, that was just the beginning. You know they'll be back. How many times is that team not back? The Lions had the 49ers dead to rights in their own building in the NFC Championship game. How about when Buffalo lost that game 13 seconds against Kansas City? Well, that was a heartbreaking loss, but you know they'll be back. They'll obvi- They'll clearly take that one more step. How's that worked out? Cincinnati in that Super Bowl against the, the Rams. Oh, the, the, look, look how close they've come. Look how good and young their quarterback is. Oh, they'll certainly be back. How's that worked out? I'm old enough to remember Dan Marino getting to the Super Bowl against Joe Montana, his second year in the NFL, set the world on fire. Oh, Marino, the first of what will unquestionably be be five Super Bowl appearances. Never got back. You miss that chance, you miss that chance. Green Bay is going to be better than Detroit next year. It's an interesting point. I hadn't really thought about it this way, but, but since the Bears won the Super Bowl in 1985, only once, only once since the Packers got Favre, has another team from that division even gotten there. It was, it was of course, Chicago in 2006. But that's and it. they played them. Was that the year they played the Packers? No, that was 2010. What, no, that, what was the year Cutler got hurt? That was 2010. 2010. Oh, was, 06 was the year the Bears with Grossman. They won. Got to they, the Super Bowl. They got to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotten to the Super Bowl. All, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought saying. you meant gotten to the NFC Championship Oh, no, no, game. no, no, no. The only Super Bowl team well, from They that haven't division. spent a lot of time in the NFC Championship game either, teams from that division. That's what I'm saying. In part because they've had these... Packers teams that have been legendary, or at least within their own division. And so is this kid, Jordan Love, about to be that good? I don't, I mean, that good is like first ballot Hall of Fame good, I don't know. But he looks special the last dozen or so games last season. And that team is getting better They should have beaten San Francisco. They should have beaten San Francisco. Detroit should have beaten San Francisco. The only team that beat San Francisco was Kansas City, and they shouldn't have beaten Kansas City. I would not be surprised if the NFC Championship game next season was Lions-Packers. Not at all surprised. Lions-Packers? I think they're both still ascending. The Penguins announced today that the shipment carrying the Yaramir Yager bobbleheads for tonight's game has been stolen en route to Pittsburgh. As a result, the bobbleheads will not be distributed at tonight's game, but will be distributed at a later date. All fans in attendance will receive a voucher that includes a one-time scannable barcode that will be required to pick up the bobblehead at a later date. Location and dates for pickup will be shared when the items are safely located or new bobbleheads are produced and available for distribution. Again, this is not a good thing. No one is happy that all the Yaramir Yager bobbleheads have been stolen. But you have to think. So... How many people fit in their arena? Probably something between like seventeen and 20,000. I don't know how many people you could put in that guess. building. So, so, certainly between fifteen and 20,000. Someone stole 20,000 Yaramir Yager bobbleheads. <laughs> like, where do you keep 20,000 Yaramir Yager bobbleheads? And what is their plan? Like, what are they, they going to do with them? Where that's, that's what are 20,000 Yaramir Yager bobbleheads? Who wants 20,000 Yarmir Yager bobbleheads? Like, in what, right now, Bubba, if you had, if I said to you, hey, I will just give you 20,000 Yarmir Yager bobbleheads, would you say, well, why do you hate me so much? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you expect well, that, that's me to the, do? The thing I don't understand is, yeah, if you have these, and you're going to, you're going to, I guess, theoretically sell them or do something. I think it's be pretty obvious you're the person who stole the bobbleheads, because it's not like you're, it's a pretty clear thing that you stole it's not like you can hide it or something <laughs> it's a yarmi yager bobblehead so if all of it's a, a sudden, truck <laughs> yeah if these start coming up on the mar- the open market they're going to be like okay well you're the person who stole i don't like what is the, the, the what's the end game here i'm i'm very confused. i'm confused too i'm, I'm thinking about the you know the, unless the, the guy just wants to unless he's just going to keep them yeah, like the, the ads section, they're like, you know, for sale, 20,000 Yarmir Yager bobbleheads. That's Cash only. Pretty suspicious. <laughs> I, I, first of all, I mean, I have so many questions. How, was, how were they stolen? Like, was the Great truck question. stolen 
Or did someone like hold up the truck driver and then open up the back of the truck and take the bobbleheads out? And put them where? Or That's what I mean. In a plane? Well, your own truck. You would have to have an, 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 another equally large truck. <laughs> like, but it, was, it would strike me as a poor use of your efficiency. Just leave the bobbleheads in the truck and we steal have the a, truck. We have a statement. Okay. It's worth, it's worth reading. Penguins president of business operations, Kevin Acklin. We were shocked to be a victim of cargo theft, and we are working closely with local and federal authorities on the investigation. <laughs> While this unfortunate incident adds to the legend of Yaramir Yager, who will be in attendance as our guest at tonight's game, we look forward to resolving this theft and delivering the prized Yager bobbleheads <laughs> to their rightful homes with our fans. Well, that's an interesting question. Does it add to the legend of Yaramir Yaga? Absolutely. I guess it does, right? I mean, he's the guy who had his 20,000 bobbleheads stolen. <laughs> Doesn't happen every day. <laughs> it's cargo theft. So maybe they were being, does that mean they were being shipped? Like, probably. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Ship? So maybe. They're probably coming from another country, right? So maybe in transit. They, they, maybe they're being manufactured in some other country. They're being shipped here. They were stolen like on a loading dock on some, you know, what, so, somewhere. Well, apparently all of them. Did I someone don't know. try to steal like a bunch of drugs and accidentally <laughs> stole twenty thousand yard of Opening this thing up. Oh, did you get guys? Did you get the heroin? Now hold on a minute. What is it? Oh, it's twenty thousand yard of Yager bobbleheads. <laughs> what the, the worst, hell are we gonna do with this? The worst thief ever. What are the chances that some criminal somewhere just reaches out to them anonymously and says, "Listen, I want you to have these back." <laughs> This is not what I meant. This sounds like the plot of the new Oceans movie. <laughs> Send them to Czechoslovakia. Can bygones be bygones? I just can someone come get these? Take I mean, these it, off. It did my happen hands? in Pittsburgh. Has anyone checked in on the Pirates? Right, we got to figure this thing That's out. That's good. I have twenty thousand Yarmir Yager <laughs> bobbleheads.